Find My Little Troops, Saturday Vibes. Change definitely wanted to pop out. Um, I'm just channeling. Okay. Um, these are going to be your current lessons. Growth just popped out. I'm going to clarify these. Envy. So you definitely got a challenge in front of you. Difficult, to say the least. You'll be okay, though. Just don't let it get in the way, okay? Humor try to pop out with a whole bunch of other ones. Just kind of looking at the brighter side of a situation. Um, Tibet. What the heck? Tibet. Tibetan. Um, ooh, you got a special friend. Um, oh, Jesus. This is difficult when this comes out. Um, this is definitely a twin or a forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. Don't let your ego get in the way of something. I don't know if you just heard my stomach, which is odd because I just ate so much. Maybe it's not agreeing with me. I put sausage in my eggs today. And I don't, normally don't do that, but it was an amazing sausage. It was like tomato and cheese. Tastes better than hot dogs and eggs. Yeah, I grew up on hot dogs and eggs. Any leftover hot dogs always went in the eggs. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you got love and acceptance. Oh, boy. This is, this is difficult. This is, this is, this is difficult. I don't know. Is it happy you to manage to be friends with somebody? Is somebody else not going to reciprocate? Is it just, I just saw 212. This is, um, oh, man, guys, this hasn't come out in a long time. It's someone extremely important. It is, it's more than a friend. This is someone you really wanted to be with. You guys were lovers. Um, well, you're together now, and, and, and something's not going down properly because of someone's ego. Your lesson is to drop the ego. Um, looking at love versus anything else, because at the end of the day, love is extremely important. Self-love. Sometimes you gotta make that self-sacrifice to even love yourself. But this is this is more than that. It's it's quite the connection. You could be meeting this type of connection. If you're meeting this type of connection, um, there will definitely be some blockages. Tell me about envy. Envy, please. It says, give yourself much more credit. Okay, whatever that's regarding. Um, it says, a stranger. It, a, a stranger than strange. A, a, a stranger than strange. Okay. Those in great relationships are always those who are good at relationships, and those that are in challenging relationships aren't always those who are bad relationships. So OC, even though I am this is a really I am pondering. This is a really good thing. I don't, it's so, it's so weird why I just struggled reading that. I don't know if someone's having trouble talking. But those, you know, those in great relationships right now aren't always those who are good at relationships. So, like, if there's something great in your life, it's, I don't know if you feel like you're, you're not good at it or it's not going good. It can't get off the ground. All right, and those that are in challenging relationships, you know, 
aren't always who are are bad at relationships. So like I this is telling me like you're just straight up guarded. You think you're bad at bad at love. Like that song, I'm bad at love. But it's like you're not. It's just a challenge, which we saw. Okay. So give yourself way more credit than what you're giving yourself. And then it says things are almost about to get really juicy. This is a little head up, heads up on an addiction that affects all really old souls. So you, the two of you are old souls. Giving love eventually becomes greater need than receiving love. Okay, so see that you're not strange. So I don't I see the, both cards speak of you feeling like you're not good at something. You could be dealing some with somebody a little strange, but like what's strange to you? I'm okay with being strange. Or people looking at me strange, you know, but things are about to get really good. But you also need to allow these things to become really good, okay? So tell me about friendship. And this is a challenge all by itself. That freaking flew out. Earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for great stuff that's coming your way. Never regret love, no matter how blind it will always improve your vision, no matter how foolish it made you wiser, no matter how generous it, it made you more. Hubba hubba. Okay, so never regret meeting this person, falling in love, no matter how blind or if you think it's a foolish move to go after this. You could be someone who's extremely practical and, and doesn't go, just doesn't take risks like that. Okay. Um, never regret who you loved, what you loved, but I think someone might have been blind to it or they saw it, but they just thought it would be a foolish decision. So whatever you guys went through, like I said, somebody you probably know, okay, this does have to do with someone you know. It didn't go good. It was disappointment, but it was a rehearsal for something great. This is a meant to be, troops. Tell me about love. You just got to commit to it, seeing the good versus looking at something in a negative way. You know, I, I heard, is it temporary? You know, um, if you're imagining it's temporary, then you're setting yourself up for thinking it's temporary. Um, someone too young, someone too old, is there enough this, is there enough that? Am I being practical? Am I being wise? Am I, am I basing things off certain stuff? Am I basing things off, you know, something that was disappointing? It, it's, you had a past life, okay? It was almost like post past regression. But it, it's going to be nothing like the way it was. It, it's... Love at the end of the day is, is so very important. Too many people stay in situations out of comfort. It's not living your life. If you look at things positive and you look at stuff in a loving light, you use your soul to make decisions. It's... It's not foolish. Maybe you think maybe you think it is, you know. Um, and then with love, those you love will love you. To be beautiful in another eyes, to be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget what went down. So basically, if you love this person, they love you. Vice versa. It's 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 very much mutual. Okay. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, you have acceptance. So it's either you accept what this is or, or you don't. You, it's free will at the end of the day, troops. Okay. But, um, there's certain things that just will not and cannot change and you have to accept that. So I don't know what type of situation ships you guys might be in, but, um, the only way to really push through a challenge is adversity is the best way to learn, you know, um, except what's, what's happening or, or what happens. Uh, this is a forever connection. So 
in this case, some something someone will turn around but this is um peace just came to me you, even if you guys are not lovers again it is it's important you guys have a, a a soul bond but this to me there's such strong sacred love it's your own sacred love whatever the two you have in common or or past life however However, it went down. Don't let your ego get in the way. Don't let certain stuff get in your way. Give yourself way more credit. I don't know if you're saying I'm not good enough. This is foolish. It's it's one of those. It's just a challenge. You know, receive it. You give, you receive. It may seem foolish, but it's it's not tell me about it, it may seem foolish <clears throat> yeah it's way too many whoa 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 got the nine of cups so there's some type of wish dream you got the sun it's the happiest card in the deck okay it's whatever this is has possibility for growth um It's the happiest card in the deck. It doesn't necessarily say you're dealing with a Leo per se, right? It's just if you let it grow, you know, if you water it, it will grow. That just reminded me of the field of dreams. And the nine of cups talks about dreams. You know, everyone asks and wants certain stuff in life, wishes, desires. And then sometimes it comes around and you're at a point in your life where, why didn't this happen 30 years ago? Why didn't this happen 10 years ago? Well, it wasn't meant to. Why did I have to struggle the first 40 years of my life? You know, I'd rather the last cycle of my life was peaceful and content. You know, look at something in a positive way. Why did I choose to have, you know, four children and, 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 and then get a divorce? and have to go through that struggle for for years and years until I, I, I recognize something or is I don't put blame on anything right but like we all choose how how things go and it is like why now why this you know if you're piss poor broke it's part of your karma you chose to be maybe you were really wealthy in a past life and, and you took it you took advantage of it you, you know, it's it's always something and why. Can you push through? Can you do this? You know, um, why, why, you guys are just asking why. It's very deep reading. But at the end of the day, it's it's love, it's happiness, it's dreams, it's fulfillment. It's, it's potential. You're not giving yourself enough credit. You're dealing with somebody who is very practical. The, the two of you are thinking in a very practical way versus anything else right now, especially with ex acceptance being here. Because it's like something went down, something came around. It's, it's something like that, and it's like, why? Say you were in a, a, a third party. Say you not even a third party. You're in a relationship. You met someone else, but you didn't sleep with anyone else. But you're like, why do I got feelings for this person? That's still awful. You know, because then it's like you having to leave a situation for someone else and then it's the other person. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be a situation like that. This isn't meant to be. Something went down very serendipitous. So it's, I can't really look at this in, in too many ways. It's a mutual love, whether you're together or not. Or you are together. But you're not giving yourself enough credit. You're not allowing your souls to connect the way they should be connecting. The stars are aligning. Galaxies, planets, they're aligning. You, you, you've, you've already accessed your Akashic records. There's DNA. There's links. Okay. Um,
you could be single and you, you met someone and you're just like, oh, say you just got out of a divorce. People won't think like it's timing or somebody may think you cheated on your husband or your wife because, you know, three months later, you're madly in love with someone and they're like, hmm, well, who gives a shit if someone says, hmm, you know? It's... Things happen the way they're supposed to happen. Everything's a lesson, whether you learn the right way or the hard way. So basically, every struggle you're going through, you know, it was, yeah, it was disappointing, but it was just a rehearsal. So you do know this person. Because it's, you're questioning. Is it foolish? Is it okay to just go after love? It's like the left side of the brain, right side of the brain. It's like the moon cards. It just pulled me to one of those moon cards where very practical, logical thinking. And then spiritually, using your soul, using your gut to make the moves doesn't make, doesn't make sense to someone. A group of someone's. You know, something like that. But it, it's, it's mutual. If you have to give it up, you have to give it up. But um, give yourself much more credit than what you're giving yourselves. Looks like things are, are going to get good. It says things are going to get good. It's, it's putting the ego aside. It's, it's putting the pride aside. Um, allowing the challenge. Looking at something in a, in a positive way. It's not being foolish. It's being optimistic. It's going after a feeling that your soul is desiring. Regardless of where you're at in life. Because a situation like this can only brighten your life. And, and once you guys realize that and accept it. Things can take place. Tell me about acceptance. So, like I said, that's it's total free will. Okay, all there is to do is love, and it has been there. It's been there all along, but you know that. When you begin to find love or feel love in people or in places where you haven't felt it before, it's always because you've grown so you're really starting to feel this which is good you're really starting to accept this so some of you will accept and, and not everybody will but but some of you will it's beautiful because that card is all about acceptance all there is to do is love it has been all along okay when you begin to find love or feel love in the people places where you haven't found it before why? Because this is unique. It's special. You, you've grown. It shows, shows a lot of strength and, and growth to, to go after destiny. It's, it's your destiny, whether you believe in it or not. Um, it is what it is, troops. I wish you the very best. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see that over there. Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. You are dealing with something strange or, so <laughs> or someone strange. I'm a handful, guys. I really am. Sometimes I, I am and I'm not, you know, but I, I can be. I'm definitely a challenge for some people. I'm not going to lie. I'm different. Not everybody can relate to different. But this type of relationship gets you, understands you, vice versa. Do you know what you've already created? Besides your intergalactically known self. <laughs> then you got inspiration in the eyes. You have been being watched. Hope in the minds that someone is admiring you. In love. In the hearts that you've always known. So ease up on yourself. Okay. So. Um, I think it works both ways. That sounds extremely special. I love you guys. Have a fantastic Saturday.